still ahead, a story you're going to want to see. A Southern California company that is opening up the eye, putting electronics in there, and making blind people see. Science fiction come true straight ahead. Well, this sounds futuristic, like science fiction, but a new camera implanted into people who see only darkness is bringing light back into their lives. Dave Malkoff has both the high-tech camera and this incredible story from USC Hospital. Everything you've ever seen in your life, every flower, every golden sun, it's all just a symphony of electric signals sent from your retina to your brain. When Kathy Blake was in her 20s, her eyes started slowly shutting down. Vision loss is gradual. It took probably 15 years for me to lose all of it. Kathy has what's called retinitis pigmentosa. RP is a gradual tunnel vision that eventually left her totally blind. I'm Mark Humayan. About the same time Kathy started losing her vision. My grandmother was going blind uh, from diabetes. Her eye surgeon started toying with the idea of hooking a video camera up to the human brain. The concept that would eventually become the Argus II bionic eye. That's where the current talks to the nerve cells. You can't tell it even by looking right in her eyes. It's in my right eye. But Kathy is wearing the implant right now. These are my glasses. And in the front of the glasses, I have a little camera. That little camera wirelessly transmits low-res video to Kathy's eye implant. It has a receiver and an array of electrodes where those small pulses of electricity, the video from the camera, are sent to her brain. So when I put them on, I see flashes of light. I, I, anytime there's a contrast from light to dark. Science is just now starting to uncover the language the eye uses to send an image to your brain. So right now, the images they're sending are pretty low res, pretty rudimentary. Now, the camera that Kathy is using is not like the video camera that we're using, sending two million pixels in color to your television set. It's reduced to black and white, and it's also reduced to 60 pixels. There in the 60 pixel environment, you can still see I'm holding this giant dark object. You can see the difference between dark objects and light objects. You can tell if something's in your way, and you can tell if you're gonna bump into that or not. I had to learn um, how to use these flashes to see things. It's right out of Star Trek. Clearly it does conjure up images of Jordy wearing the visor and being able to see. And a couple Fourth of Julys ago, Kathy did just that. She looked up in the sky and... When the fireworks show was going on, I couldn't see the color of them, but I could definitely look up into the black sky and see all the flashes of light going on and seeing them falling. I could see the flashes falling and just thought, wow, I, I just, it, that was pretty amazing. And the technology behind this is built right here in Southern California at the Second Sight Factory. We take you inside tomorrow at the University of Southern California Medical Center. Dave Malcolm, KTLA 5 News. Fascinating. Six million dollar man. That's right. And it's only going to get better, right? Good stuff, Dave. Absolutely. See you tomorrow night. And tonight, doctors in Silmar are working on a breakthrough technology that may cure one type of blindness. And it's not a new drug. It's a way to send a television picture directly into the brain, a bionic eye. Here's KTLA's Dave Malkoff with part two of his glimpse into the medical future. Excuse me? Um, you're prosthesis. What, what are you calling it again? A visor. Visor, right, a visor. We're living in the future. Technology that makes the blind see is now becoming science fact. I'm Mark Humayan. Meet the eye surgeon. My name is uh, Robert Greenberg. The guy who's building a bionic eye. I don't see any detail, but I can pick up the edges of windows or doors. And the test subject, a blind woman who can actually plug a wireless video camera into her eye. We build the products here in Silmar, California. These engineers are building what's called the Argus II. These are my glasses. And in the front of the glasses, I have a little camera. So when I put them on, I see flashes of light. Her vision is reduced to something like this, 60 black and white pixels. Microscopic cables send the video to a tiny plug near her optic nerve. Yeah, it's about five millimeters by five millimeters. The space inside an eyeball isn't the only challenge here. So having these devices uh, function in the uh, human body is like taking a television and throwing it in the ocean. Like ocean waves, tears are salty 
and the eye environment is always moving around. Here, this metal can is uh, what protects the electronics. The company believes their eye implant will last 20 years or more. The testing is still ongoing, but this system has just been approved for patients in Europe. They're hoping for FDA approval next year here at home. Right now, it's only effective for a certain kind of blindness called RP. Your, your field of vision, your, your tunnel is closing in on you, and you know you're eventually going to go blind from it. But with this implant... They can see doorways, chairs, tables. Not great detail, but it's better than nothing. A professor of neuroscience here at the University of Southern California, Dr. Humayan, is now working on the next generation of his 60-pixel implant. The next model will send the brain 240 pixels, 1,000 pixels after that, and then possibly color information, bringing it even closer to natural human vision. By stimulating a particular electrode with a certain frequency, we can create the perception of, let's say, a blue light or an orange light. Uh, and patients really enjoy um, blue light more than any any other for, for some reason we don't quite understand no thank you doctor for now the dream of a star trek visor is many years away but this one hundred thousand dollar system could be the first step here at second sight it's really exciting it's a lot of fun in silmar dave malkoff ktla 5 news hmm.